Now guys, um, <laughs> I finished this part and the right side. Um, well, today at, at 6 a.m. and then I might have accidentally, uh, yeah, fallen asleep on the keyboard for, for five hours and now I'm back at it. <laughs> yeah, well, um, what we are going to do next is the first floor because the first floor will also have rooms and it will also have an incline like like this here like like the bottom floor but just one layer upwards um this will be a little bit difficult because i still want the rooms inside there to be accessible and 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 yeah somewhat even grounded so hmm let me see how i do that this outline is a little bit wonky in this in this department but i believe we can cover that up with trees um in front of the in front of this wall afterwards so i'm just going to work with that because i've tested it out in creative and this is actually a layout that um will allow us to make the rooms inside there somewhat somewhat even so let's go okay quick little update um, first of all, if you hear snoring in the background, that would be my kitty. I'm very sorry. I hope you cannot hear that. <laughs> Snores like a, like a grandpa. Um, now, we have, um, oh, this is so complicated. I've made the roof overhang this part over here two blocks wide so we can work inwards. This should be um, the way to go. And pulling the roof over from here and um, create a second floor here. Now, I have done this on the other side and I've been running into a problem. See how this, this side, the right side, the upper part, it looks weird with it ending that suddenly in the mountain. I want to pull the roof just down there as well so it really mirrors the other side for that i have to terraform i have to <laughs> rip this part of the mountain out which is fine i think i can um create a a somewhat even path on on top of here that could also be the connection to the village at some point but it's a lot of work it's a lot of digging will be worth it though huh huh I think this is way better, way better. Now we have this kind of um, supporting the overhanging mountain, a way to get up on this first roof and a way to get up on the hill. Perfect for some sort of path or stairway or something. And now I have to drag this little bit here down to the same level as well. Shouldn't be a problem. And then we can fill in the walls. Oh, and that point in time when you notice you made a mistake. This is one, two, low. I've been staring at it and noticing that something isn't right here. Something totally isn't right. Now, that should be way better, I hope. Uh. Mm hmm. Maybe this can stay like that. Hmm. Now this should be close to perfect. Do you know the feeling when you stare at something for so long you are not sure if you if you're seeing it right? I'm constantly comparing the two sides and. I'm yeah, <laughs> I'm messing up when counting the blocks and, and yeah, maybe I don't see flaws in the, in, in the build anymore. Maybe that's something for later. Right now, I'm going to fill in the walls. For the first floor, we are only going to use this and this space. And the rest downstairs, so to speak, is going to be stone and filled in completely. Same goes for this side. Whew, guys, this is complicated. This is really nerve-wracking and uh, mind-boggling. So, okay, 
Um, whew, I made a few tiny changes to the um, framing logs. They had to go one more out so I could uh, um, deploy the dirt on the top um, the way I wanted. Doesn't really matter. It changes things a little, tiny little bit. Um, the windows had to look different uh, for a reason that I completely forgot, but it had to be done. <laughs> I filled in all these stony bits and I placed down lanterns. And this is getting pretty close to what I've envisioned for this part. Now, for the interior, first of all, let me get down. We. We also have a, a visitor. We have a wandering trader who seems to be stuck in the other side of the balcony. This guy. Hi. He has he has good stuff that we um, might actually find on our own. Actually, we have or we already have moss blocks, which will be important for this build. Yes, but. We already have them. So now for the interior part here. Um, I figured out the level where the dirt would be placed and where the um, spruce planks, spruce planks and spruce stairs would be placed. Also a little bit complicated and I'm not sure if I don't want the entire roof, including this bit and maybe even this bit to be dark oak. I'll have to figure that out. Maybe I'll try that out on the other side and then compare the two. But that is the progress so far. This year, I believe the back wall of both sides will be stone, just like on the bottom part, like this. Maybe a little bit um, roughed up, like, like those walls are. Um, and yeah, I believe that as soon as we get the exterior done and the frame of the rooms, this will be the bedroom and on the other side there will be hmm, maybe the kitchen, maybe, maybe, maybe. And down here I want to have workshop and or maybe here the kitchen and up there enchanting. I'm not sure. I'll have to figure that out. For now, I will have to gather some more resources because I'm almost out of spruce, with it, which is terrible, just absolutely terrible. The amount of logs that I that I use here is just ridiculous. <laughs> it's just it's just terrible. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, but nonetheless. I want to finish this side and the other side um, with a dark oak for the ceiling and then I'll bring you back so we can compare the two. Look at this. Now we have two options. Option one is the light ceiling and look what I did with the back wall. We have those little nooks where we can hmm, maybe place some, maybe place some storage thing is in there in the wall so we have more room accessible in here um the interior will be something for the next episode i will not get that done today um but yeah that is option one i do not really like the contrast between um between wall ceiling here and and this this is just hmm feels a little bit just wrong to me Whereas with option two, I feel like this is much more yeah, complete. Um, I, I, I pulled down the um, dark wood thing over here, so it feels like the complete roof is dark wood. And also over here. And I, I, I honestly like that better. It feels a little bit heavier, yes, but I like it. I feel like this is, um, that's the way to go in a mountain base. Doesn't matter if it's a little bit, um, yeah, dark in one part. That's part of the deal here. <laughs> now, while I will transform this part into dark oak, I hope you guys are okay with that. I feel it's definitely the right way to go. And then we will have to take care of the floor down here. Meow. Exactly. And maybe we can do, just to round things up, 
do a little bit of exterior work here so we can have a maybe a pathway to the entrance maybe some trees up top oh and we i completely forgot we have to take care of the mossy bits because moss is going to be involved heavily especially on the roof on this part we have to take care of that Ta -da! <laughs> uh -huh, so. so this is basically um, oh this i have to maybe do a little bit differently not sure yet um this is basically one layer deeper than it was originally i also had to drag all the wooden parts down one block um this back wall here is dedicated to storage i will also find several smaller um storage solutions for just throughout this room and um basically this is going to be the workshop with the actual workshop area somewhere around this middle around this central pillar i have framed the whole thing in oh god what i what are you called deep slate bricks yes deep slate bricks uh the frame frame within the frame is <laughs> polished deep slate and all variations of deep slate in in the middle to create this this rough kind of look now i want to go for this same look on the other side and i believe um this here maybe that's an idea i'm not completely sure about this i just don't want the light gray directly next to the um dark gray i think that is just a little bit weird hmm this might also be a little bit weird Hmm, I'll have to think about that. Maybe this is better. I'm going for the chiseled deep slate. Chiseled deep slate, that's the name. All those new new names, that's a little bit much. I think that is the best solution for this at the moment. Look what I just got, guys. Fortune, fortune, fortune three. That is so important. We're gonna use that right about now and we are going to merge both of our pickaxes into one perfect one. That's so good. You have no idea how happy I am. Because now we can mine this guy and get how many? Three diamonds instead of one. How many do we get from the other? I'm getting greedy here. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit greedy. Okay, just five. Still awesome. This basically, fortune gives you a chance to get more than one drop from, from ores and stuff. And I am going to mine all this stuff now. Just strip mining. Now this is what I've got. This is about two hours. I was watching a movie in the background and we got all of this stuff. A lot of iron, a few diamonds. All of this because we have fortune. And we're done, guys. Look at this. The floor is done. I'm so happy. The lighting is, uh, that is not final, I'm just playing around with ideas. Interior is something for the next episode, as I, as I said. Um, I just need to really make sure that this whole place is spawn proof, because I had a tiny run-in with a creeper earlier, and um, didn't hit record just in time, but it was close. And it was definitely this little kitty that uh, saved, saved my butt. <laughs> now... We have just a few more things to do, and most of them involve moss. Now, I'm really excited about this, because um, oh, also maybe sweet berries, maybe some pumpkins. Meh, 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 meh. Um, this is one of the new blocks, and it's one of the most exciting blocks in the game. At least I think it is. Now, what is my plan? My plan is to get up on the roof, which is fairly easy, because we... Well, <laughs> fairly easy, she says. Can't jump, uh-huh. Um, what I want to do is to merge this roof in, um, yeah, moss and grass and everything. Now, let's just place one block of moss. This is nothing spectacular, but once you use bone meal on it, fancy stuff happens. First of all, the moss spreads and annihilates every block in its... In its range, it also spawns those wonderful tiny little 
Azalea trees. Azalea, yeah, I don't know how to spell that. <laughs> But it seems like it isn't able to get over to the wood, which is not really a problem. Let's just let it spread for a little bit so we can actually, this way, get a hand on a few more moss blocks, of course. Ha! Now, I want to get rid of the grass over here because over here this is um, already in the mountain biome and the bluish tint of the grass I don't like. Over here the grass can stay, that is fine. Mm. I want a few more blocks of limos. Oh, and it's insta break. That is so good. That is so good. Okay, moist block. And let's see what it does over here. Mm, not sure if I like the grass. Well, it's better than the other one. Definitely. Okay, so just let's rip out a tiny bit of the roof. Hmm. Need to find a way to make a somewhat even transition between the green stuff and the wood. Maybe some kind of dirt. Hmm. What we can do is combine gravel and dirt to... Wait, 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 wait. How? Like it is? How do we do? Yeah, we do. Ah, like this. Whoopsie. <laughs> Um, dum -dum. Mm, this could be the way to go. This could be the way to go. I'm going to experiment a little bit further and bring you back once I have found a solution for the roof. Uh, no. Whoop. Hee <laughs> Now we'll have a look in a second from above. Those are the last tiny decorations I want to get in place. Wait, 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 where's my bone meal? My bone meal is here. Ooh, and I also had an, a neat little idea for lighting because of course we we need to spawn proof this those this layer um should be okay because of the lanterns but up above I don't think lanterns make sense so we have to kind of um Cheese our way around it. I love the moss. I love it. I just love it. I love the azalea bushes. I love the the moss carpet that you can actually craft or harvest from from this. This should also spawn proof stuff, by the way. Hmm. Maybe that's a good idea for for darker spots, you know? I like this. I like this. Now, look at the roof. Look at the roof. Wait, maybe let's get up here. Then we can have a better look at the roof. I've, I'm still not sure how I can make this transition from green to lighter brown to darker brown perfectly. But this is the um, solution for now. Stripped and um, stripped spruce lock and spruce trapdoors because they are a little bit darker. So this is kind of going this way. I have tried to encase parts of the the roof in trapdoors, dark oak trapdoors. So it kind of looks like the locks were tied together there. If that makes sense, I'll, I just like the look and yeah, I think it fits. Now, all of the hill is covered in, um, well, not completely, but mostly covered in patches of moss and flowers and stuff that will grow. And I actually want to, that we can do together, harvest. Look, if you plant an azalea bush and you take the bone meal, ooh, 
so pretty. Just so pretty. And now you can harvest those leaves, which are awesome. And I want to put a few of those leaves on top so it looks like there's um, bushes hanging, hanging down. And for the lighting, look what we can do with pumpkins. We found them on our adventures. We can carve them with scissors. And then we can stick torches in them. To do we not have torches? Oh my. There's torches. Wonderful. We can craft jack-o'-lanterns, which is a good light source, and we can plant them on top. Wait, no, what am I doing? Take the smart way up. Hoi! Well, that really wasn't that smart. <laughs> we may not be able to um, spawn-proof this whole area, but that shouldn't matter because most of this area is fenced in and sort of um, we in there should be sort of protected. Now I will put jack-o'-lanterns in here and carpet on top and we'll see in the night how well that lights stuff up. Oh that was that was not smart won't work. But here it will. Oh, I need more jack-o'-lanterns. Hmm, we should plant those. We should definitely plant those. <laughs> I love this color of green. The um, biome-specific tint of the normal green, the green of the grass and stuff, doesn't really matter when it comes to azalea bushes. And that is awesome. You can make an area much greener than it was just by planting down those guys. That makes them super useful in my in my opinion. Yeah, stuff is getting lit up. Look, this looks great. If I can get rid of all the torches and plant a few more of those bushy things, then I think we are good. Do you see that? This keeps happening. <laughs> I was about to show you the finished build and then those guys walk through the ah uh, over the screen man not sure if I need to build a wall or or how I can permanently solve this because I seem to be exactly in there uh on the route they take they seem to spawn nearby and keep coming here, always from the same direction. And even smuggle some torches in here. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> they will shine through the trapdoor and keep those parts of the roof spawn proof. Which is awesome. Oh no, not this one. Maybe here? Boop! And here! <laughs> Whoops! Oh, and another torchy! Boop! Now I think that is all... almost almost all of the torches okay i have to cut it to cut it quits now <laughs> i can barely keep my eyes open this was a serious project seriously big maybe way too big for the start of a hardcore world let's take a look from my little podium over here <sighs> isn't that nice Tell you what, I'm so glad we did this. I've planted a lot of trees just <laughs> to have some sort of a backdrop for this building. And I've been not recording whilst building the path and the tiny um, pond over here. This was just me turning my brain on standby and just placing blocks. Now, I really, really 
like the look of this. Let's build ourselves up actually. Ooh, and don't fall. Still got no feather falling. So you can take a look on the top. Now there's bushes everywhere. I've placed down a lot of the azalea leaves and berry bushes and flowers. It should all be lit up. Maybe we can wait for night. And the sun is setting. Look at this. Ignore the chest monster in the bottom. <laughs> Trying to find the right angle, the best angle to present this thing, this monstrosity of the base. Ooh, and the sun is going down and the roof is lit up. I believe, I believe we did a good job lighting stuff up. I believe that this, this is really somewhat spawn proof and I will continue to pumpkin proof, um, <laughs> pumpkin spawn proof all the area around here because they you barely see this these tiny moss carpets on the ground they are not as in your face as the torches are and they're neat and easy to to acquire way to to light stuff up now guys thank you so much for watching this was a monstrosity of a project um I hope you enjoyed the episode, leave me a like if you did and I will see you in the next one where we will take care of the interior. Have a good one, have a wonderful evening, morning or whatever it is for you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!